welcome to Hype Night. Hello, welcome to Hype Night. Hype Night. In fact, we need a bit more volume. Let's feel like that. This is our theme song. Is that theme song? You're ready to hear it. the open source music file that I found. Yes, we really appreciate that. Open source music. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Uh, everybody, welcome to Hype Day. Welcome. Yes, um, it is with Melissa. And Dale. Hi. Hey. Um, listen, we're going to tell you a little bit about what this show is. Yeah. Yeah. We know a lot of amazing women. We so know so many. And they know a lot of amazing women. Yeah. So there's this web of amazing women. And so we wanted to celebrate them. Yeah. And so we were like, what if... Every week, we got another amazing woman mm -hmm. and just celebrated that woman. Yeah. Hype! Hype it all! Hype it up! Like crazy. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's probably going to look a little bit, you know, maybe like this. Like, it might be like, Melissa, you just won an amazing award. You won a CSA, which is outstanding. Thank or you. Best Actress in your digital feature. Thank you. And I think that that's amazing. And it's like a huge accomplishment. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much, Dale. Thank you. And Dale, yeah. you are the co-writer of a show called Night of the Living Dead Live. This is true. Which had an amazing run in Toronto too, didn't it? Twice. It's twice, yes. Yeah, and now it's available. People can buy the rights. That's through right. Samuel French. Yes, that just happened. So you're like published. You have people can buy the rights. People can put up the show. I know. They can sing the songs and paint themselves great. It's amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Hype night. Hype night. That's how it's going to go. It's just, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I guess we should probably turn our... And let you know, I think you may have already heard, but if you haven't, our guest tonight that we're going to be hyping is Audrey Dwyer. Audrey Dwyer. Yeah. That deserves a bit more... We could see Audrey, but you can't yet. Not yet. No, but no. she's right over there. That's right. Um, Audrey Dwyer is amazing, and we can think of so many reasons of why she should be on this show, and that's why she's on the show. But we're not going to tell you any of them now because we're going to tell you when she gets here, so that you know we can tell them right to her face. Right. Makes, Makes sense, face. right? Audrey Dwyer, come on. Audrey Dwyer. Audrey Dwyer. Welcome, Audrey Dwyer. Yay! watching us on Facebook, which we hope you are, uh, you can comment on what you see, you can like things, you can let us know yep. things about Audrey, questions, ideas, we're going to do our best to follow along. This is true. Sometimes yeah. I'll be looking down here, it'll look like I've checked out. I haven't. I'm just reading what's going on online. Right. So that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Audrey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Really good. Thank I'm you. Like Amazing. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Thank um, you. So I feel like we should start with uh, two things. Firstly, uh, your favorite drink is dry white wine. Yes. I have heard. So we got you some dry white wine. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dole out the glass. To make you feel comfortable here. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm going to tell you, when I went and spoke to the wine person, because I'm not much of a wine person, mm -hmm. he said this is such a zero that it's very dry. <laughs> So it's, it's, a, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's a an Inniskillen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are not sponsored by Inniskillen, no. but if anyone from Inniskillen would like to contact us, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, they're Whatever. welcome to. You're welcome to. Yeah, and you know, then we'll drink. Then everybody's favorite wine. <laughs> <laughs> Inniskillen. Uh, also, if you have any wine tips and you want to share them with us on our Facebook uh, feed there, because mm. Audrey likes dry white wine, so if you have any suggestions of ones that she should try, yeah, yeah please. please. A um, few things coming in, I'm just going to jump in here. Okay, Apparently, right. uh, Marco Tempano was on a road trip with, one, with you once, and you were hilarious, and you <laughs> looked really good in a corporate suit. Ah, yes, yes, I do have a, a really good corporate suit that I like to wear when yeah. I do those those kind of gigs. Actually, that's very true. Yeah, right. fantastic, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, cheers. 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 Cheers to you. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry, dry. It's dry. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That's what we wanted, though. Yeah. So we're happy. Yeah, I, I, I love this. Yeah. This, this, is, this, is, this is This is. This is. I feel like I'm going to be able to try drinks and beverages that I wouldn't normally drink. Well, that's so good. This, Thank is, you. this is good. This is good right here. Um, yeah. Let's start with the best part of our day. Okay. 
Um, for me, the best part of my day was I was working and uh, I thought I was supposed to get off at 6.30 today. My schedule said I was supposed to get off at 6.30. I got off at 6. Nice. That's yeah. a good thing. That's so good. Yeah. Good yeah and yeah. not even for like an accident, like someone got sick or something like that. Like it was just like, surprise, you get an extra half an hour. That's, That's nice. nice. So good. So I good. Love it. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Nice. Um, I discovered that um, I could put dark chocolate in my coffee and mm. that would make it taste delicious. Wow. Oh my God. That is good. Yeah. That like, is so good. It's so much better than just having coffee. Yeah. I love it so much. Or even so. putting the chocolate at the side. It's like... Put, put it, it in. inside. Yeah. And you just stir it around. Or you blend it. I blend oh, it. Oh, nice. delicious. That's good. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, great. That's great. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like that. My favorite part of my day is I was having a bit of a not great day, and I was going to just eat some food that we had in the house. It was kind of like, it was good, but it was a little bit sad. It made me feel a little bit sad. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this time for peanuts now? No, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't want to charge for sure, but I feel like maybe this was here and then you didn't feel like eating it. No, what happened was, no, the creme brulee peanuts are delicious. The creme brulee peanuts. Oh, they're creme brulee peanuts. Or as my mother-in-law says, creme brulee peanuts. Yeah, creme brulee peanuts. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Um, but no, and then my husband and I were out picking up this sign here that we got printed, and he was like, let's just go out and let's have some lunch. And we mm-hmm. did, and it was so great. And then they were playing 90s music. In the restaurant, and it was yeah. so satisfying. Yeah, yeah. And that was the best part of my day. Was my like, no, I'm gonna go out and treat myself. Yeah. To lunch and a '90s playlist. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. good. Okay, Love that's fantastic. Playlist. Okay. Um, Audrey, I feel like you need to know the hype rules and how this show works. Okay. Okay. So yes. we're gonna be throwing a lot of hype at you because you deserve a lot of hype. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. And a lot of hype out there into the world. Um, the main one is you have to accept the hype. Okay. Yeah. No qualifications. No, like, diminishing what okay. the accomplishment. You no. must accept okay. that. You have to own it and accept it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are, however, allowed to interrupt the hype or talk about the hype or, or correct us if we're wrong Okay. on our hype. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, a big fact is, like, wrong. Yeah. Right? Or if you want to add somebody else into the hype with you. All right. Yeah, like, yes. if you want to hype somebody else who is part of that accomplishment, mm-hmm. totally cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. Okay. Got cool. it. Okay. Great. All right. So I guess we have to get right we into. We get to it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need notes. Oh it's my just, goodness. There was pages. No. Was pages. Pages of notes. Of stuff. I mean. Oh God, yeah. Just, there's just okay. so much. So Audrey is. Audrey does so many things. Yeah. Actor, writer, dramaturg, director, yeah. creator of shows. So many. That's just the tip of the iceberg. For Educator. Years. For years. For years. Like fifteen Improviser. years. Improviser. Yeah. 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 All these a things. Million things. And I'm sure one more like, goes to the other. Like it's like I'm yeah. good at this, and then this thing influences this thing. Totally. And yeah. you use your multifaceted skills in all of these yes. areas. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I need to take us back to 2001. Please do. Please um, take us back. Where apparently you went across the country with a children's theater. <laughs> Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. So you like traveled with yeah. a small group of people like across the country. Yes, in a van. Yeah. 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 That's way. That is like a huge thing to be able to do because not a lot of people survive something like that. No, that's true. Yeah. It's hard. It is. It's really hard to be yeah. in that band. And in 2001, you were like just start, probably just starting your career. Yes. Yeah. I just got out of theater school. I just yeah. Graduated from National Theater School in Canada. National Theater School. I mean, everybody can just freak out, right? Everybody freak out on Facebook. Just hit that heart button a million times. Heart, 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 heart. heart. And all the people, you know, that audition for NTS. This is what this is what (laughs) happens. You get in, you do this amazing stuff. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say anything about it. I know. (laughs) Yes. 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 Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let me understand this. You, uh, in 2008, you were the associate uh, artistic director of Baywood. Yes. Yeah. I was. That's yeah. a very, like, that is such an exciting theater. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. It's so it's such a great theater. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a fun time. I think I read uh, 300 plays <gasps> in one year. Um, That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. And I took notes on them and assessed them and just learned a lot about dramaturgy and like mm-hmm. new play development, um, how to run a company, all different kinds of things. It was like one of the greatest years of my life. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Lots of fun. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Cause yeah. And now you're the artistic director of Caliber Moon Theater, right? Yes. Yeah. Which I did a show at Caliber Moon Theater oh, no years ago. So when I found that out, oh. I was just very tickled that, yeah. Yeah. It's a great yeah. little, it's such a great yeah. theater company. Yeah. So they do shows 
for young audiences. Yeah, and uh, they're interactive, so we use like a lot of improvisation to uh, create the story. Like we take a fairy tale and we modernize it mm -hmm. through improv, and then we actually improvise with the audience. Is this okay. the this one? Come is again? this the one? Is Which this the one with the little kids and the that? stuff? Is this the looking one? Yes. 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 My daughter was like, we went, we ended up going on vacation, <laughs> and I wanted to go and see it, but we were on vacation, and it couldn't uh, happen. And now my daughter aged out of it a bit. Like I feel like now she's a little too old. No, that like one. It. That oh. one was YPT. This is the YPT That's one. That's the amazing YPT one. Oh my gosh. So 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 okay, so let's listen. take a second okay. to talk about the yeah. YPT show. Yes. Because the YPT show was like a phenomenon in the city. And it should have been. It's like yes, it's, it's filling a market that should definitely be explored. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. Why don't you tell us and we'll hype you a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, well, it was um, called One Thing Leads to Another. Mm -hmm. And it was a show for uh, babies six months mm -hmm. to 18 months. Amazing. And um, so the babies would come in with their families and their caregivers, and um, they would just be like the sweetest audience. Um, a lot of parents came in feeling a bit of concern, like their baby might cry. Or yeah, that's what baby, I would think. Right. Yeah, I would think that. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of the babies showed up, and it was their nap time, and they'd be like, this is nap time. Like, I'm, I should be sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Who are you? Yeah. Um, and the show <laughs> would be, like, a lot of them would look at me, though. They would be like... Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. you. I don't, yeah. I don't know you. But then after 20 minutes, because the show was about 20 minutes long, they really loved the performance. Yeah. They really loved it. I yeah. Did. Yeah. I think my daughter would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Just bubbles, singing. I know. Right. I went like this because there was like a part where you like yes, went over. Yes, that was a thing. I know, but yeah. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that what this <laughs> I don't know why you didn't know what this meant. I know. I'm the only person. Well, did you see the show? No, I didn't get to. Well, there was... You have to see. I know. Oh, this Lauren Pitt, uh, Lauren Craig says that that show was mesmerizing. <gasps> oh, yeah. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you, know. Lauren. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, um, yeah, now yeah. I am. Are yeah. you are, is there any plans to bring it back? I, I, so. I wish. I feel like this is a show that should be happening uh, year-round. So I many agree. parents totally. uh, ask about it. And I'm not even saying that so that I would have... Uh, employment forever. Fair enough, yeah. Um, but it's just <laughs> such a great yep. show for babies. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So I know, like, YPT or My Ardell, whoever, whoever can get on that, let's, we're yeah. sending out a call. Just get we that out there. to see it happen. Um, just to let you know, <laughs> for anybody who feels like our volume levels are going up and down and stuff like that, we're working it. Figuring it out. Happen. We'll speak up. And it's all good. We'll speak up. So we, we hear that you're getting, we hear that you're sending these messages to us, so just know that we hear you. Oh, are we getting those messages? Yeah, just a few. We okay. need to speak up. That's okay. It. You know, okay, that's right. it. Um, I feel like I need to personally bring up the fact that Audrey and I worked uh, in the National Touring Company of Second City. Yes. yes. Hype, hype, hype. Yes. A Ooh. lot of hype for that. Yes. And we also toured. Yes. Yes. We yes. We also did. Um, yeah. I had a really good time. I love working company. with you. It was I, really good. I really did. I really, really, yeah. We got to explore a lot of themes. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and we got to, because it was one of these times, it was a time at, uh, in the touring company, which they still do, but it was a particular time where we were writing so much. Yes. So we really got an opportunity to write, and it was fun to write with Audrey. I have a little tidbit. Um, Audrey and me, and, uh, and I believe it was Caitlin Howden, got to spend three days uh, stranded at Wasega Beach together once. Yeah, we amazing. were, like, stranded, yeah. and we did a show in oh. a dome... On, and we on lived, West Saga Beach? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we lived above a furniture store for three days. Yeah. And I was afraid, and even though I was, I had seniority and was able to go into my own room, yeah. I was like, I want to be with you guys. Yeah, we were all in the same room. So we all had the room together, and we were with uh, circus performers, and we went right. down to the beach, and everybody was, like, throwing fire, and Audrey, oh. fearless <laughs> Audrey, <laughs> I remember. Yeah, fearless is like, I'll stand in the middle of the fire. And then she just stood in, with these crazy circus people. What? Yeah, I did that. I did that. Whoa. There's a picture somewhere on Facebook. We looked so good on that beach. We did. Like, we were crazy and feral and hadn't eaten in two days, but we, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. we looked so good in that beach. Yeah, yeah. So why were you, had you not eaten? Well, it was just, it was, we were in a difficult place, and there wasn't good transportation, yeah. and just the oh, way okay. it kind of worked out. It's hype night, so I'm not going to go into, like... No, no, I know. Sorry, I don't mean to pry too much, but you told a very compelling story, and I felt like... Yes, I but, but it was just because of what was happening in Wasega Beach and where we were being housed. We weren't okay. near any yeah. of, like, okay. we weren't near the strip. Let's yeah. put it that way. Fair there enough. was a, there was a mini putt that was broken. Yes, I remember that. we were going, like, hang out. Amazing. 
Yeah, so that beach was dark. That beach yeah, was dark. Sounds nice. like it. Dark. Dark. Uh, well, okay, so let's talk about our connection. Yeah. Our recent connection. Yes. So in 2015, you won the Kill Turnin Award. Yeah. For your play Calpurnia. Yes. And yeah. that same year, I won in the yeah. media category. Yeah. And so we like spent a year really bonding over yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, that was so experience. nice. So it was nice. so good to spend time with you. Say it likewise. Yeah. yeah. Likewise. Really great. And yeah. Calpurnia, uh, I've I've heard the bit that was read at the Kill Turn Award Gala, but yes. um, and it has had a reading uh, in Montreal. Yeah. Has also had a reading in Toronto. Is that true? Yeah. At the uh, Groundswell Festival. That's right. Like 2014. Yeah, and so it's uh it's this play uh, from the perspective of the housekeeper in To Kill a Mockingbird, Calpurnia. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, yeah it's um it's a play about like race, class. Um, appropriation. Um, it takes place in Toronto. It's a comedy, and it's about a young woman named Julie. She's a screenwriter, and she's uh, looking at to, to Kill a Mockingbird from the maid's perspective, and Calpurnia is the maid, and mm -hmm. that's the name of the play. Um, and uh, she basically goes like deep into her research, and um, there's a kerfuffle with the family. Oh yeah. As there often is. I mean, that's what should be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You gotta shake the family up sometimes. That's it. That's it. You just do. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's continuing its development. And yeah. Um, it will be uh, produced in January 2018. Yeah. I cannot tell you any details. Okay. Oh, I love that. I cannot okay. tell you any details. I'll be directing it, but um, we You're have gonna... to wait for the season launch. I okay. love that we have no okay. details. Love just it. that it's love happening. It. Just keep so an eye out. Keep yes. And you're going to be directing it. Yes. Yeah, because you also won a Dora. No. Nope. No, nope. nominated for a Dora. Yes. Won ah. for the YPT show. Yeah. Okay, I can't keep up. <laughs> you know what? She's nominated for things. Yeah. She wins things. There's so much. Yeah. So you were nominated for directing. But you were nominated for directing. Yes. yes. It was yeah. um, a play called The Apology. Yes. Mm. It was my first um, directing Oh my show God. in a like a very professional kind of oh, level. Oh, it's just my it's first. first. Direct. Just uh, no big big. It's a Dora <laughs> nod. First time directing. No big deal. Audrey no big Dyer. Big. Amazing. Fantastic. Okay, I know. It's, 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 it's hot in the hype. It's hot in the hype. It's hot in the hype. Hot in the hype. Hot in the hype. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's time for a, a lightning round? Are you ready? I kind of feel like it is. Okay. Okay. Listen. All right. What's that? Okay. Why don't we just go through like. I'm gonna I'm gonna do lightning round like right open source music guys you can't can't lose you can't lose Hot night it's the lightning round here we go you um let's just do some of your credits because mm -hmm. you've just done so many shows yeah right sure. let's just do that um you've been in Blueprint at YBT yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, Benya and Sonya and Masha and Spike and Medea oh my God what the heck is going on here. <laughs> I Rubbish. think that's two plays, yeah. but it's good. It's oh, two. Okay. Two plays. That's what, okay. One of them has four names in the title, and, and one, one just has, has one. one. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good people and the Crucible. Shame. Yeah. Okay. Clybone Park. Yes. The Overwhelming. Yes. The Tempest. Yes. Black Medea. Yes. Yes. Patty's Cake. Yes. Tandy's King of the Basement. <laughs> Penelope. Penelope. Pit. The Penelope ad. The Penelope ad. Yeah, that's art. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, here. what's that? Margaret Atwood. The kink in my hair. What? Oh, oh, this is TV and phone credits, guys. They did the kink. They yeah. kink. The kink. Yeah. Multiple, multiple episodes. Yeah. Not just like I showed up and it Recurring. <laughs> as we like to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Stay Within. Mm -hmm. um, Man of the Year. Yes. Can we stop at Man of the Year? Yes, we're stopping. Yes. Stop. Stop. Oh. Stop. Oh. So, yeah. Man of the Year is Robin Williams' movie. <sighs> yes. And uh, I was like, what? You're in a Robin Williams movie. Yeah. But I don't, I haven't seen the movie, and I don't know where you are in the movie, and I don't really know what you did it's there. Kind of, I'm kind of like in the beginning, middle of the movie. Okay. Can I just say, like, it was my dream to work with Robin Williams. I mean, come on. Like, uh, I just think, yeah. I just, like, you know, he's the funniest, funniest person, and, like, I was around when Mark and Mindy was on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh... I played an interviewer, so I was like in his face, okay, yeah. okay. The microphone, asking him questions. Like actually, it's like it was him. Yeah, with him. But um, when I got on set, um, he was uh, like talking to a lot of people. It was in the CBC building, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, we shot a scene, and I tore these heels, and so I took my heels off, sat down next to Christopher Walken. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, that's, that's Christopher wow. Walken. Yeah. And then you thought to yourself, one day I'm going to talk about this on Hype Night. I did think about that. So it's weird being here. It is actually really so weird being completes here. the circle, really, of Can I tell you, Robin Williams picked up my right foot and gave me a foot massage. No. He no way. Yeah. Out of nowhere. I don't know where he massaged my right foot and he was like, you shouldn't be wearing these heels. Heels were made by men. And he just sort of like went off in his like way. And then he massaged my left foot. And then we did another scene. That's a crazy wow. story. That's yeah. a crazy story. That's a crazy story. It was a great time. I love that story. It was I a great time. I'm glad we stopped the lightning round for it. <laughs> me too. We were really honest. Yeah. We like, did. And me too. It was worth yeah. having that. Yeah. The other, the other role that we really want to talk to you about, because yes. Dale, when we were doing research for this, we started a Google Doc, yeah, and I was reading through Dale's research, mm-hmm. and there's a moment where she says, 12 Dates of Christmas, TV movie, as Milkmaid Sales Girl, bracket, all caps, I need to know more about this role. That's from Dale. Yeah. So, I mean, what is a Milkmaid Sales Girl, girl? <laughs> and how do you find that within... Okay, I, I don't even know what to say right now, except that somebody has taken a clip of me as the milkmaid girl and has made a five minute, maybe three to five minute uh, little movie no. on YouTube. So, really? what, so what do we need to search on YouTube? For everyone <laughs> yeah, to go how do we link to it? We're going to put that in okay, the don't, We're going to put it on the comments later. Don't leave us right now, but what do we need to look? Yeah, um, you need to look up. Uh, I think it's like 12 Dates of Christmas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 12 Dates of Christmas. Um, maybe Milkmaid Girl? I don't know. It's like, it's, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, okay. we're going to find it. We're, we're going to find, find it. it. We're going to bring it to you. Something Never fear. Because that's, wait, I hear, I hear, what, what is that? What's that? It's something seen. Oh, something, something seen. seen. Okay. Something seen. seen. Okay. okay. Like, something because, okay, you know, you know, you know, like, Ground, Groundhog Day? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Classic. So, 12 Dates of Christmas is kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I spritz um, the star in the face with a perfume, and she kind of faints. Oh, I think I've seen this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, it it a, is it like a Hallmark? Like yeah. A, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, so that was me, and I spritz her, and then she goes back to that moment a number of times. So somebody has compiled all of those spritz moments. But are you... What is the milkmaid What part? is the milkmaid about? Is it the perfume? No. Are you dressed as a milkmaid? I am dressed as a milkmaid. Oh, okay. okay, well that's the and part then. Like, I think it's like 12 maids of milking. I think that's what Oh, oh 12 maids of milking. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Together. Yes. That makes sense. And Audrey in a video. In a five minute video. Fan video. Fan video. <laughs> a milkmaid fan video. Yeah. I'm a drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you grew up in Winnipeg. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Until when? Until you left to go to school? Or yes. how long were you there? Yeah, I was there until I was about uh, 20, 21, and then I moved to Montreal for three years, and then I moved to Toronto in 2001. Your family's still in Winnipeg? Yes. Okay. What's the, most thing, what's the thing you love most about Winnipeg? Hmm. I'm putting you on the spot about Winnipeg. I was oh there for goodness. a week once, so I know what I would say. I've never been to Winnipeg, so I want to hear about it. What do I love most about Winnipeg? I um, stayed at a haunted hotel, and I went to the Hamam. Well, that's 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 I'm nice. I've done that once. Yeah. Did you do the whole thing where they like kind of slap you a bit? That lady beat me up a bit. Yeah, I got slapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've also never been to a mom, so all of this is. It's a wet. It's wet slap at its finest. <laughs> it's wet slap. It's deep. Like that should be their new slap. slogan. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you also you made a short film. That I, also won an award. Well, actually, I wrote the screenplay for that. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. okay. But my dear She's fiance amazing. Caro, he shot it. Oh my and god! Directed oh, okay. it. Oh come that's, on. That's some added hype. That's and then it won one best one best story at Ottawa Digi Sixty Festival. Yes. Right. Yeah. More yeah. hype. More hype. More and we hype. can't keep up with the awards. It's true. <laughs> they're just. Um, do we Ch- want to go to Chelsea Ch- Ch- Lichman is here, by the way. Oh yes. Yep. And uh, oh. yeah, and Caro is here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, get any edgy people on to go find that link if you have the name. It's got to happen. All right. Um, Do we want to talk about what people messaged us from? Uh, yeah. Okay. We so got messages. Yeah. Like part of the 
hype we, you know, there's a lot of hype that we can get off of Google, you know, and a lot of, we learned a lot about other Audrey Dwyer's in the world. Um, <laughs> yes, that's, there an, are a few. that's an adventure. That's also, that's its own adventure. <laughs> yeah. But also we asked um, our people who like our page and people who have heard about it to send in things uh, that they love about Audrey or things that we can hype about Audrey that maybe we don't know. So... Uh, it was really fantastic what people sent in, so we're just going to go and we're going to look at it. Yeah, because we're going to let you know. Um, um, so one message we got, um, also from, I'm going to say it's from Lauren because Lauren already commented. So yes. I'm going to say Lauren okay. sent us a lovely message. And she said, Audrey is the comedy partner I've been waiting for my whole <laughs> life. Oh my gosh, <laughs> She's one of my closest friends. Her work inspires me to keep going, to believe in my dreams, mm -hmm. and to never sell myself short. I think Audrey is kind, generous, honest, and brilliant. I'm so blessed to know her, and I hope to call her my friend to the end of my days. Lauren! Right? Oh, like, Lauren, beautiful. thank you Sweet. for that beautiful message. Lauren, that's awesome. I can't have one thing here and then another thing here, so I will have to, um, you will have to read another message for me right now. Okay, great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oh, there we go. You, you have it now? I have, yes. I have one from Rebecca North. Okay, great. Here. Here, Rebecca. Um, hi, Bob, Audrey. Audrey has an amazing superpower. Once you know her, you will forget how you met, and you will always feel as though she's just always been a beacon of light in your life. That's very true. Yeah, I feel that way about you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I true. feel like we've known each other longer than we have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I can also say that Audrey is the stellar practitioner of friendship and humanness. Her willingness to be open and honest uh, about herself and her journey and call people on their shit is invaluable. Aww. I feel I have learned to be a better human from her directly and through observation. She is talented as hell, determined, and so, so full of love. I could go on and on and on. Rebecca. That's lovely. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Thanks, like, Rebecca. I'm touched. You're very inspired. That's not all, man. There's no, more. Oh, there's geez. more. I'll read. I will, we'll do some little... I might... Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> So there's one from, I'm going to put my computer in here, sorry guys, but so I think you can still see us, but yeah. that's good. Um, Audrey is super special and sweet in my life here in Toronto as a new Torontonian. So this is a thing we haven't hyped about you yet, and I think it's so good that we get to hype it. Yeah. I moved here to be with my wife, Catherine Hernandez, and Audrey was instrumental in helping me prepare to propose to Catherine, and in being one of my first small bunch of friends in Toronto. She is very skilled in making uh, me feel loved, welcomed, appreciated, and celebrated. I hope this night allows her to feel those same energies tenfold. I respect her and adore her and cherish my friendship with her. I'm glad she's being recognized. So that's from Nazba. That's fantastic. Um, and you know, like reading these out loud, you start to realize it's like there's a lot of things that you can like look on paper and go, you've won these awards, you've done all this great stuff and all of these things. There's uh, further, you could be, you could have been a, an ass about it. You could, could have been. Yeah. You could be, people could have sent us messages saying, why are you doing this about Audrey? She's the worst. <laughs> but we didn't get that. We got, <laughs> you're doing this for Audrey because Thank she's you, the Nova. best. And Catherine also messaged oh. us, Catherine mm -hmm. Hernandez, the great Catherine Hernandez, and said um, she's a brilliant comedic writer and actor. Despite having an incredible career kicking ass in other people's work, I'm waiting for the day she is at the driver's wheel flexing her comedic muscle. I want to hear her stories all day, every day. Thank you, Catherine. And finally, Sarah Ja has this to say. Um, listen, she's in awe of every time you speak Egyptian Arabic. Yes. Yes. And that um, you don't just pronounce it right like an Egyptian, but she does it in a way with Egyptian hand gestures and expressions. <laughs> she just picks it up like that. Snap. She, <laughs> she sounds out um, like she sounds like someone who was born and raised in Cairo. Uh, and it tells me that she's good at reading body language precisely and then performing it precisely. Mm. Mm. And then she goes on to say, Audrey, I'm secretly imagining you reading, um, reading me and your friends. So basically she goes on to be like, you can probably do impressions of everybody and that you probably do and that you are hilarious. You carry yourself. Um, she loves the way you carry yourself. And uh, she says, I adore your confidence and energy on the stage and beyond the stage. Aww. When I saw her acting for the first time, I saw and felt how Audrey changed the energy of the space by bringing us from watching into anticipation mode. Oh, my gosh. Aww. It just goes on and on. I'm going to let you read the whole thing. It's fantastic. Aww. We'll yeah. send you. Yeah, we'll send you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got one other one from Guy Chopra. I think her maybe full name Gunjan, I'm not sure. Yes, yes great, yeah, Gunjan, thank you. Thank you. Um, saying that you're one of the funniest, most gracious people. Uh, she's continually accomplishing all kinds of incredible things as a writer, director, actor, and more, and she carries it all with such grace, which was what we were just this talking about. 
She's full of wisdom and has an ability to listen and tune into the core of what's being said and challenge you with such skill and compassion. That's a rare combination. Facilitator extraordinaire. And she's got jokes for days. <laughs> and there are so many hearts going by. Yeah. And I'm apparently, you know, there's so many hearts going apparently by. you're also into the weirdest shit on Instagram <laughs> and have no shame. Okay. Right? What's your Instagram handle? The dot Dwyer. Okay. okay the dot Dwyer. <laughs> and that's like you're saying a dot, not typo dot, right? No, the, yeah, like dot, period, period, Dwyer. Dwyer. Okay, Thank great. you, Dungeon. Yeah. Um, so nice. So Listen, that's like, fantastic. There's more things that I, we can hype more. about you, but I feel like, you know, I kind of feel like I want to finish on that love fest. I uh, am so uh, touched and overwhelmed by all the love. I'm glad. Like, Yay. I'm blushing so much. Well, good. That's, That's good. good. Yep. That's good. Yeah, I know. It's, it's warm. It's hot in the hype. It's hot in the it's hype. Hot in the hype, everybody. Hot in the hype. Hashtag hot in the hype. Obviously, going to happen. Yeah. Um, obviously. I'm going to take a second here to um to take a look at what people have kind of written down here. Let's hear it for friends who like this in the beacons of light. There are like 30 people watching right now, which Yay! is outstanding. And thank you to everyone who has shared and uh, who just loves the idea of a show like this because we yeah. love it very, very much. Yeah. That's great. Um, Dreamed of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Dreamed of Ryan Reynolds' fish massage, strong hands, and funny. That's from Christopher Bond. Thank you for watching, Christopher Thanks, Bond. Thanks, Christopher Bond. Christopher um, Bond. Door knobs. Look at it. Oh my gosh, Audrey, you're gonna have to go back and read all this because it's really amazing. More, oh, there yeah. more, more things to hide. People are saying things. Oh, and Vito Catalungo wants us to know that they closed that uh, was Sega place down, and now oh. it's just a rubble pile. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the update, Vito Castellano. I'm glad we... as if it didn't happen, because even yeah. the place that we lived in there for three days is gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Just the sign remains. Mm -hmm. And this story and this video of this story. This is true. I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm going to have a sip of my drink. And Let's then all have a sip of our drink. And then, <laughs> and you guys have a sip of your drink. Oh, it's very dry. It's very dry. It's very, very dry. dry. Um, thank you, Mrs. Skillen. Thank you so much. If you want to sponsor us, you know where to find us. Uh... There's one last segment that we're kind of going to do here before we kind of begin to wrap things up. That's called um, our new favorite thing. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, for myself, uh, you know, I have to say um, my new favorite thing, and this is a thing that many other people have found, and you wouldn't know it by looking at me right now, but I'm kind of really into dry shampoo. <gasps> yeah. I feel, I feel like it's just great. Dry shampoo cool. is the best. It yeah. is. The yeah. lifesaver. Yeah. I've, I'm just new to the party, but that's okay. I'm here now. No, no. It's good. Welcome. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Welcome. That's it. You got a new well, favorite thing? Do you have any favorite thing? Um, I really like uh, my memory foam bed. Oh. Is that new? Did you get it where it was like rolled up and it was delivered to you? Yeah. Mm. Oh, and you just, it just like, it's like it knows you. It's like, it's like <laughs> you've been assigned a personal angel and then you get into bed and the angel's just like this oh. and then you just lay in it and it's just like, and you just fall asleep. Oh, I'm going to get one. You I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one, too. And also, can yeah. I just say that that's, if any ad people are watching, that's a killer idea for an it's ad. Like an angel. Yeah. Your own like personal this. angel. Just like like this. Like this. I want to sleep in that bed. Or like yeah. this. Oh, it's, oh, oh. It's However, it's spoon you a little bit? A little bit. <gasps> Whoa. That's, that's, that's a good, okay. Mm -hmm. so. It's a good bed. It's better than my bed. So then I, I have a feel like I have a feeling that like one of us will get one and then that'll be our new favorite thing. Like we'll go through the new yeah, favorite okay. thing and we'll each our yeah, memory okay. foam bed. Yeah. Yes. My new favorite thing is this app that I've been using tonight. Again, not a sponsor of the show. But uh, but it's this thing called Stop and Go. We've kind of split up our responsibilities for the show. And and, and this has really helped. It's called Stop and Go and who's it by again, Matt? We've Matt our, our running camera for us today and sound. Um it's by Somebody and named Eve Yannick. Eve Yannick. Thank you, Eve Yannick. Yeah. So this, it's such great. It's like it's a really easy, easy to navigate if you're like doing a live show or you just want. It's really great. Stop and go, and uh, it just there you go. I'm gonna demonstrate, and this music's gonna play us out. Yeah. Hype day. So listen, this has been hype night with Audrey Dwyer. Yay! 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 Now listen, hype night is not finished because we're coming back next week. Yeah. We're coming back next week. Yeah, and next week our guest is. Vanessa, Vanessa Wishart. So listen, if you know anything about Vanessa Wishart, she's absolutely amazing. Take a Google right now because it'll just blow your mind. Um, if you know anything about Vanessa and you would like to share it with us, there's a little button at the top of the page that says messages right now and you can send us all kinds of things about Vanessa. Um, she's a costume designer and a milliner and she has just the most amazing story. So I'm really looking forward to having her next week. Yes, and Audrey, uh, where can people follow you and hear about your new adventures? Um, on Facebook. 
Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Facebook. And your Instagram, of course, where you just go crazy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, great. Well, thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Open source music, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Open source music.